right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Next Time in Power. So in this video, I want to talk about a bodybuilder by the name of Jean-Pierre Fuchs. So this was a bodybuilder that's primarily known for a major accident that he had, um, which ended his bodybuilding career way back in the early 2000s. Now, I've done a video specifically on that accident, but never a video specifically on JP's career. Now, JP Fuchs would turn pro in 1994. His competitive career, I think, in the mid to late 90s, was probably the best of his competitive career. Um, towards the end of his career in 2001, his last competition was the 2001 Night of Champions, where he did not place. And this was just before his accident. So I don't think this is a situation where this was a major accident that ended a bodybuilder's career during his prime. I think he was kind of on his way out as far as being a real threat on the Olympia stage or the Arnold Classic stage um, or on a pro stage in general, because from 99 onward, he was doing shows where he was placing well outside of the top 10. Um, and in some, in some situations like that night of champions, like the 99 Toronto Pro, he didn't even place at those shows. Now, I think JP's best year as a pro bodybuilder in terms of competitive placings and also in terms of the look of his physique was 1997. He competed in quite a few shows in 97, um, most notably, the 1997 Mr. Olympia competition, where he was not only top 10, but he placed seventh at the 1997 Mr. Olympia. Um, and of course, many people know that was the last year that Dorian Yates competed at the Mr. Olympia. Now, JP was known for one of many things. Number one, he's considered a mass monster of that era, weighing roughly 260 pounds in competition condition, which for the mid to late 90s was a fairly large bodybuilder. In fact, there are several photos from the 1997 Mr. Olympia. Um, obviously, it has that very iconic backdrop where we all, we're all familiar with that backdrop from the photos of Dorian Yates versus Nasser El Sambadi from that Olympia that he was so big, JP was, his back was so good in 97 um, that oftentimes many people confuse some of his back shots for back shots of Dorian Yates. Because JP was and still is a relatively unknown bodybuilder compared to guys from 97 like Dorian Yates or Nasser El Sambadi, when people think of the 97 Olympia, they typically don't remember JP Fuchs being in it. They just think of Dorian and Nasser. So when they see some of these crazy back shots from 97, they're not thinking of him. Um, but this was, in fact, back shots of him from 97. And I think his back was one of his strongest body parts. He looked, you know, pretty incredible, again, especially for the mid to late 90s. So seventh place at the 1997 Mr. Olympia was a pretty big deal, in my opinion, for a guy like JP. Um, he beat guys like Chris Cormier, who took eighth. Ronnie Coleman took ninth. Milo Sarshev took 10th. You had Mike Francois, Charles Claremont, Mike Matarazzo outside of the top 10. Um, so a pretty, pretty stacked Olympia lineup in 97. And some very, very big names beaten by J.P. Fuchs in 97. So while Dorian was considered by many to be one of the original mass monsters, um, I think J.P. Fuchs was also considered to be one of the original mass monsters because he was 260 on stage, um, but also in the offseason, he would get heavier than 300 pounds, which was almost unheard of back at that time. Now, Dorian Yates was only slightly bigger than this from a weight standpoint. He was a little bit shorter than J.P., only by about half an inch. J.P. was about 5'11". Dorian Yates was 5'10 and a half. Dorian Yates in that 265 to 270 range winning the Olympia, JP closer to 260. So not that far off in size between Dorian and JP Fuchs. So following the 97 Mr. Olympia, he would go on to compete in a bunch of Grand Prix, not placing that well in those shows. Then the 98 Arnold Classic, he would take fourth. And then from that point forward, his placings would kind of fall, leading up to that major injury we talked about in a previous video. So this injury was done, or it happened during a photo shoot. Um, where he had 675 pounds on the bar. He was doing a squat photo shoot. Um, and what happened was he basically fell with the weight, snapping essentially both of his legs. So he snapped his right leg patella tendon and his left leg, he tore all four of his quadricep muscles. So after this point, he was done as a competitive bodybuilder. So that is essentially the story of J.P. Fuchs, one of the greatest, biggest and widest backs of the mid to late 90s, one of the earlier mass monsters from the 90s, um, and a, a very unfortunate end to his bodybuilding career. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.